Hi, this is Merrill, a tax tutor. I wanted to talk about a special rule for meals for the 2021-2022 tax years. Now, the reason why this is so special is because it's never been this great before. So let's talk a little bit about where we came from. So a prior rule only allowed 50% for meals and 50% for entertainment. So this was prior to 2017. So we'll say 2017 and earlier. So in 2017 and earlier, you had a 50% deduction for meals and a 50% deduction for entertainment. So this means that if you took a client or a customer out to dinner and to a, uh, a basketball game, you could deduct 50% of that meal and 50% of that entertainment cost of taking them to a basketball game. And that applied to uh, basketball games, football games, golf outings, things like that. Any sort of entertainment that you did with clients, it was 50% deductible. Then 2017 came along. And we'll say this is our 2017 through 2020 rule. And is what happened is the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act came in and said, okay, you can keep your 50% for meals, but you get 0% for entertainment. Now, does that mean that your business couldn't do entertainment? No, it didn't. You, you could still do entertainment. You could still take your clients and customers out to golf into a basketball game or a hockey game or anything like that. And your business could pay for it and your financial statements could show a deduction on it. It's just by the time we got to the tax return, we couldn't take a deduction for it. It was 0% deductible. Uh, and the meals remained at 50%. So you could take a client or customer out to a lunch or out to a dinner and still deduct 50% uh, of those. It was just the entertainment side of it that went down to zero. So now where are we for 2021 and 2022? Well, the tax law that was passed at the very end of 2020 did something very interesting. They allowed for 100% of meals to be deducted as a business expense. What about entertainment? Well, unfortunately, entertainment is still 0% deductible. There was no change to that. So taking your clients out to a sporting event or golf or things like that, still 0% deductible. But now we get this 100% of deduction for meals, which is incredibly beneficial and very helpful for businesses. Uh, during the COVID time, obviously restaurants were suffering a lot. And so um, politics generally will use tax code to try to get people to modify their behaviors. And so one of the changes in the tax code was to make meals 100% deductible to try to modify behavior of people to get them to go out to to meals more often, to take their clients, take their customers out to meals. Now there are things that are still 100% deductible when it becomes to entertainment. If you take your staff out to a, a, an event, let's say you take your, your employees out to a sporting event, or you hold an annual barbecue, or you do some kind of an entertainment type thing for your employees, that is deductible 100% as an employee benefit or as a company party, a company uh, building activity, a relationship building activity, something along those lines, that still remains 100% deductible. It's just when you take a client out to a sporting event or something that becomes 0% deductible under those rules. Um, so that is our special rule for our 2021, 2022 tax years, our meals, as long as they're uh, provided by a restaurant or have something to do with a restaurant are 100% deductible. Um, so uh, this becomes a bookkeeping issue. So when you're doing your books, you're going to want to keep track of the meals that are 100% deductible. You're gonna to wanna to keep track of your entertainment that's 0% deductible. 
and uh, making sure that you have categories set up for those on your books so you can keep track of them. So when it comes to tax time, you can make sure to know how to treat those appropriately for tax purposes. And, uh, and that covers our um, meals, our special rules for meals for 2021 and 2022. I hope you enjoyed that video and learned more about taxes in the process. My name is Merrill Taylor and my business is TaxTutor.com. I would like to make a special invitation to anybody that owns a bookkeeping business. If you currently own a bookkeeping business and you serve your clients doing bookkeeping, I would invite you to take a look at adding tax preparation to your bookkeeping business. Is what we've found from working with bookkeepers and clients over the years is that those bookkeepers that add tax preparation to their bookkeeping business are better, better able to serve their clients because their clients are looking for someone who can both offer bookkeeping as well as tax preparation. They want someone who is well-rounded. They want one person that they can go to and get help and assistance with both their books and their taxes without having to hire two separate people to, to work through that process for them. If you are interested in adding tax preparation to your bookkeeping business, visit taxtutor.com and learn more about how we help bookkeepers to do that in the process.